I'm really hoping this is our last time meeting, buddy. crap y'all check this out we got a little leak down there and uh, earlier as soon as I got home my truck was smoking you can kind of still see a little bit of the smoke I think yeah but it was steaming and I had low coolant light that came up luckily right before I got home but yeah look at all that coolant leak dripping right there this whole puddle a little bit right there this whole wheel liner is wet um, the puddle and the whole undercarriage is soaked in coolant and I actually figured out exactly what it is and it's uh, it's a common issue whenever you install one of these delete kits I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that is tomorrow in the morning all right next day let's find out what happened to the L5P pop the hood The reason why we have we, we got coolant right there. I mean, we got coolant all over the engine bay. And the reason why I was losing coolant last night was because this thing right here tore apart. Like, look at that. It just ripped. So, this is the coolant line uh, from your turbo. Uh, what we did was we turned it upside down and we capped it off. I have a temporary solution right now because um, I do have to get going to go meet up with Mark. So this is going to work. This is the hose. Uh, came off of, I don't know, one of the parts from this truck. Um, one of the parts that came off of this truck, I should say. And I put a bolt on there on the other end and I clamped it down. This is a very temporary solution. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this until uh, we figure out a better way. I can order a heavy duty one. One of these for about 12 bucks from, from Amazon. It's going to take a couple days. Uh, I need the truck to run. So either I order that cap, which is what Holden has, or we can reroute this back to the coolant reservoir, which is what other people do. Um, I don't know if, I don't know, like, let me know in the comments below. If you have a 2020, what, what are you doing? Are you capping that off? like the older trucks or are you rerouting it back into your coolant reservoir so let's see what you have to say but i think i'm gonna route it back to the coolant reservoir instead of getting a cat i think it'll just look better yeah so i was definitely freaking out last night when i got home you know obviously because my truck was smoking but it turns out this cap is a common issue it kind of sucks because uh technically both of my trucks are down at the moment but uh this is a uh, really simple fix so i'm really thankful for that one thing i do like about you know having um i guess issues with the truck is i get to learn you know i had to do some digging around last night and turns out this is a very common issue on the l5p duramaxes when you do the delete and uh i've reached out to holden i reached out to holden holden told me the same thing happened to his truck so uh kind of made me feel a little bit better that it, it wasn't just me it wasn't just my truck and so he said that he ordered one of those heavier duty plugs for his l5p and there's you know plenty of other people out there that had this issue so kind of makes me feel a bit better because i'm not the only idiot <laughs> look at that it just tore up wow 
Yeah, but this is this is like so cheap too. It's so thin. We'll go ahead and use this because we gotta drive to Lexington, which is about an hour from here. All right, there it is. There is the temporary fix right there. Honestly, this thing's gonna hold up way better than that little freaking plug I had. Cause that plug was way too thin. Yeah, this hose is actually pretty thick. Um, I clamped it down pretty good. So I actually feel a lot better about using that than the, the plug. Or if you don't mind the way that looks, that could be your temporary solution too. But um, I'll keep you guys updated on what I do cause I'm probably gonna reroute it. I think that'll look a little bit better. I probably lost about three to four gallons of coolant. So I need to go buy more coolant. Probably need to spend another 40 bucks just in coolant so yeah that's always fun i already spent 60 bucks on coolant two days ago when we had to drain everything and i didn't get to reuse it just because it got dirty obviously i use the dex cool coolant for my duramax because it's what gm recommends um i get the concentrated version so i get like two gallons of the concentrated version and then i'll go get uh distilled water and i just mix them myself this is what I had to buy at AutoZone just because it was very convenient at the time. 50-50. Um, this way is way this method is way cheaper than pre-mixed. Uh, pre-mix is very convenient, but it can get it can get really costly. Alright, just got back from the store, went to Walmart. Thanks to Alex for being my Uber for me. Got distilled water and this is a concentrate. This right here gives me two gallons, and that's only about $15. And then this, I want to say about $13 at Walmart. So, one gallon for $13, or two gallons for $15. So, it is the next day, and uh, boy, I'm a little embarrassed, but I want you guys to know I was 100% wrong. That is, that is exactly how you're not supposed to do uh, do it on these newer 2020 L5Ps. You do not block off that the, the line coming out from the turbo. All right, so you live and learn. So, but instead of teeing it off right there and tapping the line into this line, uh, I really couldn't find anything at Home Depot that I wanted to use. So what, what we did was I just put the factory, what is this, the coolant line back on here. And I have it where it's routed back to the reservoir, which is uh, another way a lot of people do it. This piece of hose right here, we actually went down to my basement and looked through all my old truck parts, my old, like through my EGR and everything, from my LML and my LOI and everything. And luckily, found this piece where it fits perfectly. And it looks like it belongs here. It just looks natural the way it bends and everything. So this is how you're supposed to do it. And uh, do not cap it off like I did. I'm not really sure how much damage I did. You think I messed up? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll find out. It definitely wasn't good. Yeah, it definitely wasn't good. And I drove to Lexington. Yeah, which was not a good idea. I thought everything was good, so I just drove it. But truck didn't overheat, so we're in the truck. Welcome to today's episode of Impulse Purchase from Amazon. So I saw this, I think I thought it was one of the coolest things ever, mainly because I like Iron Man. So I got this little thing that goes on to my push to start. Yeah. Oh yeah, check it out, Iron Man push to start it's just one of those things i thought it was super cool because i like iron man kind of see right there where it lights up but i think it's pretty cool come in the truck flip it up and start it yeah we definitely need to change the oil so i'm gonna go ahead and use we're gonna be doing an oil change with hot shot so stay tuned for the next video so what i want to show you guys now is I finally got the switch on the fly tunes installed on the L5P on the 2020. And I wanna say it is really, really, really cool. 
uh, just the fact that I can switch through tunes. Normally, I daily on three, just because the power on the 2020 L5P, even stock, I was very happy with it. And the uh, tune three on the same day tuning is 150 extra horsepower. So with that being said, I'm really happy with how the truck performs on tune three. And it just makes me feel a little bit better about keeping my transmission all happy and safe until they come out with uh, trans tuning. 10 speed Allison transmission. The way you use a switch on the fly on these trucks is you tap on the cruise control button right here and it actually flashes the glow plugs. What it does is it's actually showing you guys which tune you're in. So I'll, t I'll press this to three. So it's showing that we're on tune three. I'll press up it flashed four times, meaning we're on tune four. I'll press up again, two, three, four, five. Now we're on tune five. So let's say you're driving and you're, for some reason, let's say you're towing or something. You don't want your 200 horsepower tune on it while you're towing because you don't want your EGTs to get too high. You press this, press down. Now you're on tune four. You can go down one more, tune three. Uh, let's say you're at a dealership, you're getting your vehicle service, you don't want people messing with it. Go all the way down. So it just flashed once. So there, that's tune one. That is one of the coolest parts about this truck. You don't have to have your laptop with you. You don't have to have your MPVI2 with you all the time. Switch through tunes and change tunes. Everything is loaded onto your truck and onto your computer. So really all you have to do is just do that and set your tune like i said mine is on tune three now see there you go flash three times so it is a really cool feature this is available on emission compliant tuning as well so let's say you want to go through same day tuning but you want to keep all your emission components intact but you just want to get a little bit more power out of your truck you can do your ecm swap and get emission compliant tuning from same day tuning and you can also have this feature and I want to say Edge Pulsar is coming out with their version 3, which I'll be doing a review on that on a couple of 2020s on the channel. Those work really similar as well. So Switch on the Fly is becoming really popular on these 2020s. So keep on the lookout. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>